Hey, it's Joe Glines from the Automator, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to borrow the clipboard with AutoHotKey. It's super easy to do. We're gonna cover things like setting it, getting it from, you know, the accessing it from a program you're in, sending text to it, and then sending it as well, even manipulating it, which is really cool. Lastly, we're gonna also show you how important and how easy it is to back up your clipboard and restore it at the end, which is really cool, but that's a big gotcha. So make sure you stay to the end just because, and I'm not kidding about this, like it, it took me hours of troubleshooting. I thought there was a bug in auto hockey, there's not. So make sure you stick around for that because it's one of those things that you just don't wanna miss. All right, let's jump into the code here. So, okay, so I'm gonna start off here. Let's just, uh, let's show what's on the clipboard. So with auto hotkey, we'll say message box percent clipboard. Now, first, I'm going to manually just to, so I'm going to copy, and now I'm going to save this and hit my hotkey, and right now you can. All right, so let's go ahead and show you. You can just select some text. I'm going to copy whatever it is, hit my hotkey. Now, this browser back is my hotkey, just so you can see I have it up here. Uh, right now, you can G, so that was what that's what's in my clipboard. Not too exciting, but there is a built-in variable called clipboard in version 1. In version 2, I think it's A underscore clipboard. Uh, but this is just a simple thing. Now let's work on updating the clipboard with text that we want to have. So, so I don't have to go copy it first. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to send control C with auto hockey. It's super simple, right? We just say send. This is the thing over the six carrot C. And this is going to send control C. Now what's interesting is if you do it this way, you have some interesting results here. So let me, um, I'm going to copy coupon code into the clipboard. Now I'm going to hit this. Let me make sure. Hit my hotkey. So why didn't it get this code? It should have said, said and copy and shove that into the clipboard. The problem is this happened too fast, right? So we're going to, we're going to do a poor way, um, to solve this. So I'm going to say sleep which I don't like ever, almost ever doing is using sleep commands. So sleep 1000, we're gonna wait for a second, which is way too long, but it's gonna demonstrate the purpose. So now, I'm, again, I'm gonna have coupon in my clipboard. I'm gonna select this, and when I run my hotkey, it waits for a second. Now, it grabbed this. That's because we had to wait, again, to actually to go from the copy to the message box. We had a little bit get time to shove some data into the clipboard. So it's an important thing to realize However, there's a better way than saying, let's wait for an arbitrary amount of time, right? What we can do is first blank the clipboard, and this is important, Oops. clipboard. So set the clipboard to nothing. So blank the clipboard. And then we use, oops, excuse me. This needs to go above it, duh. And now clip wait, clip wait. And we're going to set it, we'll wait up to a second. This is kind of arbitrary, but you can, uh, in, in most things, by the way, in auto hotkey, time is usually in milliseconds. This one, and there's a couple others that are actually in seconds, which I, I really don't understand why they do that, but whatever. Um, so we're going to wait for up to a second. Now, what's really cool about this is it's programmatic. It's not going to wait for a second. It's going to wait up to a second, right? So I'm going to save this, reload it. Now, um, I'm going to put this in the clipboard, but this clipboard right here, blanking it, it's going to make it where there's nothing in here. I'll, let me demonstrate that. So I'm going to relaunch it. Again, I'm going to copy this here, and then let's select this text. So notice that is empty, right? Now it's blanked the clipboard, but what's really cool is watch how fast this happens. Yeah, of course, it didn't work. Um, let's, let's see here. Let's, let's get rid of this. That might, oh, you know what? That probably took the focus away. It should very reliably be getting the selected text. And that's because it blanks the clipboard and then it sends control C. Then it waits for the clipboard to have. And the, the comma w um, one tells us that if we added a one here, this is not the default. The default is for it to either be zero or just blank, which defaults to zero. Uh, that will wait for either text or files. If you wanted to wait for a picture or HTML or something, you could change the second, this one to one, but we don't, we're not actually looking for that, right? We just want just plain text, something that if you pasted in a notepad, 
which by the way, let's bring up Notepad. Um, we'll be pasting some text into here shortly. So we've got that. So let's say, let's. what if we wanted to manipulate the clipboard, right? So first off, what if we wanted to append some text to it, right? So let's say here, clipboard, equals clipboard, we use a dot just for good uh, syntax. Uh, it doesn't really matter, it's just nice to know that you see it there. And then say, this is appended. So I'm gonna reload the script. Now, when I select some text and hit my hotkey, notice it says coupon code here, this is appended, right? So that's how simple it is that I just shoved this into the clipboard. We could have put text on the left side or the right side. It doesn't matter, right? But it's a super simple way where you can manipulate the clipboard. All right, so let's say we want to uppercase our clipboard. So, string, stir, string, oh, string upper, comma. So we're just going to use clipboard twice. So clipboard and clipboard. So now anything that is selected, we're going to see it here. Now notice, um, because I did the string upper before I appended it, this will get uppercase. This doesn't right, which is fine. It's just an example of what we're doing. So again, we're manipulating the clipboard. Now let's say I wanted to paste it instead of just displaying it. Let's say I wanted to paste it. So I'm going to say send Control V. Now Studio acts a little weird, so let's get back into Notepad. Um, I'm going to relaunch my script. Come in here and say hello world. If I can spell. So select it, reload, run. Now it noticed it. It did it so fast, right? It send Control C, put, put it in the clipboard, uppercase it, append the text to it, and then sent Control V to replace because. When it happened, this was selected, which was everything. So if I, um, when you select stuff, like here, this time, it's not everything. So we should actually get some interesting results. So now we have hello world, this is appended. So the, this is appended was there twice, right? Uh, because we had some text there. So anyway, you get the idea. But this is all fine and good, and, and, and again, it, it does come up a lot where we want to use, borrow with the clipboard to easily interact with programs, especially older programs that we can't do stuff with. Uh, this is one way, you know, if comms not available, it's a nice alternative. However, um, this will blank out as we're doing line line. It leaves you, if you started the script and you had something in your clipboard that you wanted, you lose that. But often you're in a situation, not always, but if you're automatically pasting or automatically saving that variable somewhere, you don't need to lose your clipboard. So why don't we back it up? So up here, we're gonna create a variable. We'll call it um, backup of clipboard. Now here, I could say clipboard, right? Just like we've done. However, and you might've seen it in the IntelliSense when we were typing, there's also a variable called clipboard all. Now clipboard all has, other, it has basically anything and everything that could be on your clipboard, which is like files, videos, pictures, you know, um, text, HTML, rich text format. I mean, there's, I think at least a dozen or so different things that types of data can be in your clipboard. And even more importantly, even for one thing, it can have multiple instances of them in those different things. So it's, it's quite complex. Um, if you only use this, it, when you go to restore it, you would only get the text version of whatever was there. So I encourage you to use clipboard all here. And that way, when you restore it later, it puts everything back the way it was. By the way, you can save this as a, a file and restore it from there as well, which I've done that before. It's just pretty cool. So after you send paste, um, this is the tricky part. Let's, I'm going to just go ahead and say clipboard. Now this is where it's a little weird because I would think it'd be clipboard all you, you restore, but no, you just restore the clipboard. Um, you, and now we're going to say backup of clipboard. Now I am not going to test it because it doesn't always happen. However, if you did this without, if you did it in this current state, what would happen is you, you back up the clipboard. This works great. You blank the clipboard, you wait for the selection, you copy it, but does it there, you append it. When you send control V, you would think it's gonna send this, but what actually happens if you do this, this is that big gotcha that I'm telling you, it just sucks, is 
Before Auto Hockey, it says, hey, paste, and then it goes to paste. But what happens is Auto Hockey is so fast, it restores your original clipboard to the clipboard. And so you end up not having what you had selected. You have what was in the original clipboard. And it was it took me a long time because, hey, this happens after I say send paste. But in reality, it really doesn't. So just simply add a sleep here. You can make it 50 or 100. Usually there's no real hurry in this, right? So um, give yourself 100 just to be safe. And this way, when you... So let's see if I, I copy coupon. Coupon is in my clipboard. Now I'm going to go back to Notepad. I'm going to highlight... Let's get rid of all this. I'm going to highlight this. Hit my hotkey. It does that. But notice when I hit... I didn't reload the script. Hopefully. So... Now, again, I have to come back in here, copy this. So if I paste here, see coupon is in my clipboard, select it, run my hotkey, there it is. Now, when I paste, it still has coupon on my clipboard, right? So very helpful thing to be able to do. It does, it's not always the case, because sometimes what you're doing, you want to actually have on your clipboard, but on, on certain scripts where your goal isn't to have that. You just want to manipulate the clipboard and then either restore it or do something with it, paste it. Just restore your old clipboard. It's very helpful. Um, remember, use the clipboard all. Remember on this, the, this clip weight is expecting if you have data in your clipboard, it'll process right forward after it. So that's why you have to blank this out and make sure after you send control V, you have a sleep here. Otherwise it will, you'll get that weirdness where you're like, but I had something different on my clipboard and it's really mind boggling. So if this helped you at all, I'd really appreciate it. If you liked the video, it helps me get a lot more likes. Um, you know, I'm just spending my time here and hopefully you guys are enjoying this. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing um, or Hey, take a look at some of our Intro to Auto Hockey or Hot Strings courses. They're very good. If this is something that you're new at, we cover a lot of this kind of stuff in those courses. Cheers. Thank you.